Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today, I wish to speak about the last moments of the sons of Israel being in Egypt before the Exodus. The last moments of organization before the breakout. Ancient lore says that while Israel were borrowing dresses and vessels from their Egyptian neighbors, meaning filling their pockets with what they could take while they're leaving, Moses was doing one thing. He was occupied with one mission. And it was to take Joseph's bones with him. All the sons of Israel were just borrowing material things from their neighbors, the Egyptians. But Moses was doing one thing. His one concern was to find or locate Joseph's bones and to take Joseph bones with him going out of Egypt. This is a very tense moment because there's no time. So what do we do when there's no time and we, we have to find something which is not clear to us where it is? And why do I go to this moment? In fact, if we were like now producing movie, I had to go back in time, I say, 210 years before this moment. In the last day of Joseph in Egypt, when he asks his brothers and the sons of Israel one thing, he said, one day God will come and command you and you will leave Egypt and you shall rise to the land that God promised to the fathers. But when you go out, please carry my bones with you. This was his last wish or last this was his will, basically. And the Bible tells us in chapter 50, in the last verse, that Joseph was mummified, or using the better precise English word, embalmed, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. Ancient lore says something very interesting about this moment. Ancient lore says that with Joseph in that moment of his last request, in the room were not just his brothers and the sons of Israel assembled, but also the Egyptians. And they heard Joseph's words, and they knew from his words, to read his words between the lines, and they knew once Joseph bones are taken from them. The slavery of the sons of Israel will stop and they will have no slaves anymore. So said the Lord that the Egyptians didn't want to lose their slaves. So what did they do? Now Joseph is put in a coffin. And in general, when people die they put the coffin in the ground somewhere people are buried and sometimes people go to visit their relatives so they know in this junction in this road 600 meters on the left or on the right there is a cemetery under the tree people know the location of their relatives when they want to visit them and the egyptian knew that if they will bury Joseph somewhere in land, there will be a location. And people of Israel could come to this location, dig in the ground, take the coffin, leave Egypt, and they will have no slaves. And the Egyptians did not like this idea that they suddenly will have no slaves. So what did they do? Because Joseph bones are the key for slavery. As long as they hold his bones, they will have slaves. Once his bones are gone, they'll have no slaves. They'll have to work themselves. So what do they do? 
they have this idea. If we bury him in land, people know his location and they can come anytime, dig and take his bones. But what do we do? We are Egyptians, we are wise, developed-minded people. What do we do? We take Joseph's coffin and we drown the coffin in the river Nile. And the water always moving in the Nile. And in this way, nobody will know his location. Nobody could find his bones because the water are moving all the time. Joseph coffin, it's not anchored to any place. The water are moving. His coffin is from metal, as said the Lord. He sank at the bottom of the Nile and who will find him? And in this way, the Egyptian thought that they have the key and they are the masters of the universe and nobody will find the coffin because the coffin is from metal and metal sinks in the water because it's heavier and they have slaves forever. This is what the Egyptian thought and they follow their thought. Now let's go back to the moment of Moses running on the bank of the Nile looking for Joseph coffin and there's no time left just minutes ticking tick 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 and Moses knows when time comes he had to find his coffin otherwise they cannot leave Egypt and then next to the bank appears an uber granny her name was Serach Bat Asher Asher was one of the sons of Jacob and Serach, his daughter, lived to come to Egypt with Jacob and his children in Exodus 1. And she came to Egypt with them and she was continuing to living all the years of slavery until the moment Moses is looking for Joseph's coffin. Serach Bat Asher knew she was a prophet. There are more stories to tell about her, but in time to come. She was a prophet and she knew more or less because she was alive when Joseph was put in the river. And she knew approximately the location of the space that he was put in. And she saw Moses running back and forth. And she said, you know, this is the place approximately where they put him. So Moses took a piece of silver and wrote on the silver plate, Ale Sho, rise bull. And suddenly a miracle happened and the coffin of Joseph, and this is against the law of physics, yes, the coffin of Joseph, which was basically made out of metal, rose upon the face of the water. And Moses could pull the coffin from the river of the Nile and they could leave Egypt. And so say the sages, how Israel left Egypt. What was the order of things? Because it was very order exodus. It was not running like people suddenly uh, being bombed and everybody runs to a different direction. No, it's a very ordered command, commanded exodus. And they ask, how was it featured? And so say, they say the following, and this is their answer to this question. First comes, or at the head of this stream of people who are going out of Egypt, at the first place is the coffin of Joseph. After the coffin of Joseph, Moses, and after Moses, the sons of Israel. But this motion picture we have to abstract. Because if we were like Disney producers or Disney illustrators, we would be sitting with a software, we would put a coffin, and then Moses with his cane, and then the sons of Israel and the children and the vessels they borrowed from Egypt and all all the exodus. But let's abstract the picture. What does it mean when the coffin of Joseph goes first? What or who is in the coffin? Joseph is in the coffin. 
But let's remember his words. At the day he died, please carry my bones with you when you leave Egypt. Bones, and here comes the big secret. Bones in Hebrew are atzamot. Bone in singular, etzim, etzim, ayin, tzadi, mem, etzim, etzim. Tree in Hebrew is etz. Two letters, ayin, tzadi, etz, tree. Bone is etzim, etzim. Another letter which has the value of 40, the mirror of time. This is one aspect when we look and we look into the Hebrew letters. Another aspect is that the word bones in Hebrew, atzamot, atzamot, are not speaking about physical bones, but about the word atzmut, which is written in the same letters, but in different pronunciation. Atzmut. Atzmut is the essence, the essence of things. So, Joseph asked the sons of Israel, carry my bones with you. But it's not bones in English, it's the essence. And what is the essence of Joseph? The covenant. The covenant. Joseph kept the covenant. This is why, this is why he was embalmed. He kept the covenant. So now look again. What is the order of going out of Egypt? Joseph comes at first. His bones, his essence, the covenant between heaven and earth comes first, represented by Joseph's coffin. And before the Torah, before the Ten Commandments were given to Moses on Mount Sinai. The covenant exists so and is represented by Joseph coughing because Joseph kept the covenant all of his life. So his bones, his essence is the covenant and the covenant is in the coffin and the covenant goes first and then Moses, Moshe, the same letter like Hashem and then the sons of Israel. So in a way we can see a very interesting picture in our minds because we still have to abstract those pictures. Why the Egyptians want to bury or put Joseph coffin? Why did they put Joseph coffin in the Nile? They, the Egyptians, they want to deny, to deny the covenant between heaven and earth, between God and humanity. So they hide it. They hide a coffin. Nobody knows about the covenant. But Joseph knew. He lived among the Egyptians. He knew what they think. And this is why he swore the sons of Israel carry my bones with you, carry the covenant with you. While you're carrying the covenant, you can be free. You can go out of the world of duality and walk to the promised land. So this was our little conversation about Joseph Will and the beginning of Exodus. If you have more questions, quests, or pondering thoughts, please share them with us. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, 
comments or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlive.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.